Okay, first of all, this is a table that I made in a previous video, and I am going to divide my wind direction up into categories. So the first thing that I'm going to do is insert three blank columns. Then I'm going to label these columns wind 2, wind 4, and wind 8. Then I'm going to put in my formulas. So equals choose tab 1 plus ABS tab round tab and then O2 divided by 180 comma 0 close brackets close brackets again comma and then speech marks north speech marks south and speech marks north again and then close brackets, enter. Then I'm going to copy this along and I'm going to change this back to O and instead of being divided by 180 degrees this time I'm going to have it be divided by 90 degrees and then I'm going to insert east and I'm going to insert west and enter. Then I'm going to drag this one along and I'm going to change it to O2 again and instead of being divided by 90 degrees I'm going to have it divided by 45 degrees. Then I'm going to insert northeast and southeast, southwest and northwest and enter. Then I'm going to select all three of these and I'm going to double click on the black cross to fill in the rest of the table. Then I am going to select the whole of my table and I'm going to sort and filter custom sort I'm going to sort it by modelled wind direction. Then I'm going to select column O and I'm going to control F and I'm going to look for 360. Then I'm going to delete all of the blank pieces of data. Then I'm going to select all of my table again and I'm going to sort and filter it again to change it back into date order. Then I'm going to insert pivot table, OK. And now I can make various different graphs. So, for example, I'm going to put ozone into my values and left click value field settings average. OK, then I'm going to put hour into my row labels and I'm going to put wind four into my column labels. Then I'm going to go to design and I'm going to remove the subtotals and the grand totals. And then I'm going to select the whole of my table and control C to copy and then paste as values. Then I'm going to change these column headings to east, north, south, west. I'm also going to delete these headings. Then I'm going to highlight the whole of my table. I'm going to insert a scatter with smooth lines. I'm going to left click, move chart, new sheet and now I have a graph that shows the daily cycles in ozone concentration and is divided up into wind direction. And that is it.